you can cheat a little bit because one of the advertisers that we put out for today's uh, session kind of tells you what it was. It kind of tells you what it was. Anybody? So no one, I hear you. They would have to work much harder. Jenna says, no, I was never taught that. Not that I know of. Hey, Grandma, how you doing? Glad you're here. What the first of the year was called for the slave, unfortunately, was called Heartbreak Day. And it was called Heartbreak Day because this was the time in which many slaves would be sold or leased or given away. This was a time at the beginning of the year where the master would sign uh, papers to make more money with his slaves. He would apprentice slaves out. He would send them to different relatives. And heartbreak day, at the, the, the slaves through the beginning of the year, they prayed. Prayed that heartbreak day would avoid them. Prayed that uh, they wouldn't lose any of their families on heartbreak day. They also called it hiring day, right? This is what happened. And it's a dark history that many of us do not talk about because a lot of us weren't taught it. Can you imagine at the beginning of the year that the master, you knew the master was going to come and take your, your child. The mother would be taken. The father would be taken. And you never knew why why I'm a reason because it was at the will of the master. And so you spent New Year's Eve praying, waiting, wondering if your master was going to come and they was going to take a wagon and split up your family. Heartbreak day, because that's the term I prefer, not hiring day. Hiring day sounds as if you were an employee. Heartbreak Day is the name of it. And it was an economic cycle because this was also the time where you would plan for your next crops. It is not currently a, a, a thing that we talk about because we look at watch night. And that is significant. But understand where that prayer came from. Understand why our ancestors, Black ancestors, met in these churches, in these places, and they prayed. They prayed. Because they didn't know. And it was easy to go from heartbreak day to, 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 watch, to watch night. Because they understood what prayer meant. You know, uh, there was a, a, in the slave narrative, there's a slave who said, of all the days of the year, I dread New Year's Day the worst of any because he had lost family every year for the 20 years at the time of his life. Another slave said on New Year's Day, we go to the auctioneer's block to be hired to the highest bidder for one year. We don't see our families. Some never see their families again. And that's where the saying comes from that what you do on New Year's Day, you'll be doing the rest of the year. That's where that comes from. Yeah, oh my. It's rough. All it's rough. I'm sure some of those slaves didn't establish relations with their families as much so their heartbreak day wouldn't hurt as bad. Well, Teddy, you said something right there. Because a lot of times, right, especially in, in, in the African-American mentality, so we, we talk about the experience, the physical experience, the beating, the torture, whatever. But we, we rarely do we focus on the psychological experience. 
the conditioning that you have to go through mentally to survive, the survival mentality, the survival spirit. Term it what you will, but it has stayed with us in our communities to this day. I'll give you an example. When you look at the Monahan Report, and they said back in the uh, 70s that black fathers were not in the homes. When they said that the black mother was a welfare queen and she was sitting here taking the welfare check. This is in the 70s and the 80s. But then you don't re we, we don't want to remember the history of how America, since its inception and even before, separated these black families, took these fathers and mothers and kids and sent them willy-nilly all anywhere wherever they wanted to for generations, for centuries. And the mental conditioning that goes with that, as Teddy said right, as Eddie said right there, you don't want to be too attached. You don't know how to be too attached because they're going to come and take my family. They're going to come take that child I just had. The idea of heartbreak day is significant.